What's up there, you Wargamers? This is Dalion Francis 60, and I'm doing Drop Zone Commander. I finally finished painting all my uh, miniatures on Drop Zone Commander, the two player starter set. I reviewed the game like a couple months back, now I finished painting them like a week ago. I think I finished painting them a week ago, and now I'm looking, I'm checking out the setup. It's, you know um, what it looks like. I'm just doing just a paint up update on these guys, and they're basically done. And I'm looking at I'm putting them in the game map, the the back, the terrain that come with the board, the start two player starter set, and it looks fantastic. Although the cardboard was, yeah, it's. It's a, I'm alright with the cardboard design, but I probably need more of them. But uh, now I have to read the rules again because um, or watch the video because I kind of forgot the, how the gameplay plays out. But I probably won't have um, I probably won't have a um, tough time doing that. But um, but I don't know if I can get a battle report on this soon as possible. I want to get a battle report, but I still have to read this book. So I'm just looking, uh, checking out how the um, update is like and how the miniatures match up. As you can see, I I don't know if you can see them, but I pretty much um, added like little turf on their base and the infantry. As for a for a 10 mil game. This is, it wasn't that hard to paint. I only copied some of the parts and make my own design. It was a lot easier compared to the Flames of War. The miniature, the the infantry base was a little tricky, but um, once I got that mastered, it was, it was pretty much good. And the Scourge, I pretty much like how I did with the Scourge over here. I kind of painted them um, a little bit of purple and added silver and washed them all together and added like little blue and red in them to look, to look like it's kind of alienish. As for the infantry, the Scourge infantry, they're they're kind of like the purple. I call them the purple army. But it's pretty done and I saw some videos how they people put um, stripes, street stripes. I know it should be a little bit longer but if you can look at this thing here, it should be a little bit longer, but oh well, it was just a. Uh, it makes the it makes the units flashier. It's just a base color. So, and I added um I didn't stick them together like that. I didn't glue them. I just put a uh, non-stick glue on their base. Some of them will just fall apart. You, know, you can see it. The other one over here is falling, and the other is over here with the drop ships. It's kind of balanced it out, so that's what I'm do kind of doing with it. And over here with the scourge, I didn't put um, non-stick glue on them, and I also put non-stick glue on the AA turrets for the scourge army, so I can um, probably bend it down and up if I want to. So, and it's pretty easy, yeah, pretty easy, easy painting. So I'm glad I'm done with this starter set. I'm ready to play this game. So Delion Francis 60 here, signing off, and I'll try to do some still shots on for you for more clarity. Okay.